I was a young accountant in London and uh, I thought I'd like to go on an adventure, so I applied for a job in Nassau. I got given it, sold my car, gave up my apartment, and the day before I was about to leave, they said, sorry, it's fallen through, would you like to go to the Cayman Islands? To which I said, where are they? The week I arrived, the headline in the Caymanian compass was, Minister's wife hits policeman overhead with coconut. And so I thought this was, uh, this was brilliant. The other day I found the newspaper cutting of the great Burger King robbery, where two robbers had gone into Burger King with brown paper bags over their heads. And the Caymanian Compass published an artist sketch of them with brown paper bags over their heads and said, can anyone identify these men? Theo always had a tremendous sense of humour, a kind sense of humour. He always took the mickey. He was, but in a kindly way. I was extremely lucky at KPMG. I had a, a super group of colleagues there, and so. Not a day would go by where we didn't have a laugh and a joke, even when times were, were difficult. When I arrived, I think there were six um, professional accountants in the office. Mike Austin was the partner, and of course he was a middle-aged uh, white English accountant. Um, Roy Britain was the next partner, who was a white middle-aged English accountant. Uh, and followed by Peter Baker and myself, who were white, middle-aged English accountants. You begin to see a pattern here. But during the years, this changed, and as a firm, we felt it was important to embrace diversity uh, in many ways. We also felt that women were underrepresented in the profession, and so we tried to bring on some of the uh, female accountants, and we succeeded, and so that uh, in the track record of KPMG, we're proud to have had a number of women partners who've added very much, not only to the technical side of the firm, but also to the emotional understanding, which is so important in running a, a successful business. I could always look for Theo to come and see, visit me in my office at some point every day of the week that we worked. If he was in office, he was gonna be coming around, and he did that with just about everybody there going around meeting, greeting, and uh, just engaging with everyone. He led the most significant growth in the history of the firm here in Cayman. I have a great admiration for Theo. I regard him as a quintessential genius. In 2003, Theo made me joint managing partner. And I'll, I'll never forget it because Theo didn't have to. I remember asking him, you know, Theo, why'd you do that? And he said, to, his answer was very simple, straightforward. He says, Roy, it was the right thing to do. As my long-term friend and colleague and uh, dear friend, I think I'm absolutely delighted that Theo has been nominated this year for the SEPA uh, Award. Good luck, Theo, and well done.